What's shaking YouTube? So I am like so crazy excited because today I got something that I've never done on my channel before. Today I got my first 3D printer. Now this is the RepRap Guru Prusa i3 version 2. I know that's a lot, but this company, RepRap Guru, they're an American company. Um, I got this on Amazon Prime Day, so it normally retails, I think, for 359 US dollars. I got it for 244, so very, very good. And they have full support, so like if something's not working or something's broken in here or whatever, you know, I can just call them and they can walk me through it or give me a new part or whatever. So I thought, you know, for my first printer, this would be really cool. I'm going to be doing more 3D printer videos down the line. Um, for those of you guys that are watching this just for this video, uh, quick fill in. I'm a professional yo yo for Team Magic Yo-Yo, but anyways, I do a lot of yo-yo reviews and stuff like that, and a lot of people are 3D printing yo-yos and stuff now, especially with prototypes, so I can start doing like prototype reviews and stuff, and people send me the files, and yeah, it, there's, there's just a lot of cool things I'll be able to do down the line with this. So, first part of this video is going to be me unboxing it, and then I invited my two little brothers over, and we're going to have like a team building exercise, and the three of us are going to try to put our brains together and uh, build this damn thing. So, yeah, I guess let's just, uh, you know, start by cutting open it here. All right. The box is, you know, very nice. Uh, it, oh, cool. It goes up. Okay, so, first things first, comes with some paperwork on this one. Uh, it's just like a thank you for your purchase. Um, hmm, that's kind of odd. It says like, if you do give them a five star review, you'll get a free roll of filament. Uh, I'd appreciate it if they just gave me the filament in the first place. Um, I bought three rolls of filament, so um, I'm gonna base this review totally. You know, I don't really care if I get the free filament or not. It's like twenty bucks, so whatever. So I'm gonna tell you straight up if I like this thing or not. So if I give it five stars, I will. You know, he'll hook him up and be like, yo, yo, yeah, send me that stuff. But I'm not going to do the review just based on that. But that's a little weird in my opinion that they would be bribing people. But who knows, you know, whatever. Maybe it's just like, hey, you know, if you like it, let us know, you know. Maybe that, I don't know, who knows. But yeah, it's kind of weird to me. But I guess it's just how you interpret it. It doesn't have to be like that. But uh, the build cheat sheet. Okay, so this is just a lot. Here, you can read that. You can pause the screen and read that if you want to. But it's just, you know, a little cheat sheet. Um, I'll read it off camera here. Right, first thing, I'm just going to unbox everything. So, more importantly, I want to show you guys what is all in this kit. Little what? Okay, little, little test filament or something. But everything is in individual Red Wrap Guru boxes. So, packaged extremely nice. A lot of these packs I see people do unboxings of, it's just like a bunch of shit thrown together in here with the side one. But like, everything is nice and everything says Red Wrap Guru on it. Like, I mean, one thing, they're really putting a lot into, you know, showing off their logos and stuff. But at the same time, they're, they're doing a great job and having everything boxed up and uh, you know, just really nice accordingly. So. Let's start with the biggest box. I, this is probably all the, the pieces, the acrylic frame pieces. Now, this is acrylic. That's the only thing right off the top that I was like, eh, maybe that won't. But you know what? It could be good. I know you just got to be a little more careful not to break it when you screw stuff into it. You got to be more gentle. The way this is packaged is very nice. It's all just laid. And you know what? It's all laid in here really, really nice. Okay, so, head open here. But yeah, all the acrylic panels are all, they're all in these like little cutouts. And they're all in here very nice. That This is for like the, the bed, the heat bed. And you know, the rest are all like frame pieces. Um, here's the hot bed itself. So. Really cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, just the rest of the those pieces. So okay, we'll go to the next box. I don't want to mess with that too much. I don't want to break anything, you know, before I even start building it. A lot of times when I do these unboxings, I kind of careless with these stuff. So gotta take it easy. Okay, <laughs> this 
a lot of electrical components. It's funny because a lot of reviews people said it didn't come with these. Well, it obviously does. The wire covers. Like a lot of reviews people are like, oh, look, it would be great if it actually came with the wire covers in the picture. But I guess it's funny because I ordered one because I had that review I read. But now they must have listened to the customers. Uh, everything, it's all the printer hardware. It's just a big box of hardware, but everything looks like it's individually labeled. And uh, it's going to be real nice. It looks like I have never built anything electrical before, really, at all. So this is all totally new to me. That's why I invited my. I got twin brothers, Keegan and Blade. They're both 19. And uh, this might be a little more their generation. But yeah, here's looks like the boards and those parts. Um, I don't know. All sorts of electrical shit that I don't know what it is, but hopefully my brothers can figure it out. Um, wires to connect everything. Uh, here's the, the LCD. Zip ties. Here it looks like linear bearings and all sorts of stuff. Some of the bearings have actually fallen out of them. So, like in the package still. So hopefully I can figure out how to put all this back together because that would not be good. Here is the power supply or, you know, the cord for the power supply. So I got to sell that myself. So I make sure I do that good. Well, here it is either, I don't know, what the, the main circuit board or I don't know, the Andrea board or whatever it's called. Anyway. But I don't know, I'm, not, I'm a total noob to this, so basically if me and my brothers can figure this out, you guys will be able to figure this out at home. If we set the house on fire, well then you might set the house on fire too. I guess you'll just kind of find out with us. Um, we got a couple more boxes. coming over a cup of cold. Hopefully my voice is okay here's all the motors and this looks like this is the main the main power supply here. Yeah. Okay so here's the power supply and all the motors all you know all this stuff the motor mounts all that crap so this box all all that good stuff. I guess we got a couple more. This is gonna be all the rods um, you can feel some of the weight of it. So it's both, and they're all labeled, isn't nice? Both the smooth rods, as well as the threaded rods. So for the y, X, Y, and Z axis. So, super cool. We got two more boxes. And I don't know, another. Man, you know what, there's so many of these electrical parts that I don't even, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm getting a little intimidated, but I feel like once I start watching the directions and everything, it'll be fine. They have a YouTube channel, and I already checked out a lot of the videos. But, yeah, it's like 23 videos, step by step by step by step. The one thing is, I think in the video it's an older model, so some parts might be slightly different. I know a lot of reviews people were saying like they was missing parts and stuff, but it worked fine without it. That's because like the newer model didn't have those parts or whatever, so if there's a couple like parts that are you're kind of like whatever you're not sure about everyone's advice was just like just go with it do your like you know what seems right and most time it'll be fine just be smart and think about it so here's parts for my spool holders um some directions it looks like and just uh some more acrylic parts so and then another bag another bag of goodies so let me go uh I think my brothers are upstairs playing video games, so let me go tell them to come on down, meet you guys, and let's start building this motherfucker. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so this is my brother Keegan. He's wearing the Chewbacca shirt. Pretty cool. And this is my brother Blade. He's wearing the carp fighting a cat with a sword shirt. Pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, you think we can do this thing? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we've been working on it for like, I don't know, like 45 minutes or so. We're on step five of the videos, but it's going pretty good. We got like uh, bearings on. This is the one part of the heat bed, and then we got a couple parts of the axis is built, but yeah, it's coming along. It's just a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. All right, guys? Yep, memes. Okay, guys, so we got like the frame built basically now. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Still a lot to go. Uh, I lost track of time, but so far I've drank five beers. So a five beers, you'll have the frame built, and these things built, and then my little brothers are still sober, but we, they ate a lot of pizza. Okay, guys, it's been about I don't know. We started at ten. We drank, or I've drank this many beers. We ate two pizzas. I think it's been about three or four hours, and we're halfway done. I'd say. We're on step 11 out of 20, so doing pretty good. We got the frame built. What else you got here, Blade? Uh, the extruder mounted. The... Yeah. You know, it's going together pretty easy. It's just a lot of bull crap. Nothing's too hard, though. So, so far, kind of impressed by how easy it is. Okay, guys, it's 2.30 a.m. now. We have the whole bed assembly put together. Here, show them how that slides, Blade. It's like that. It slides. And then we got all this put together. Some of the wires hooked up. Um, we still have all the boards and chips. Basically, we're I think we got most of the frame done and a little bit of the wires, but now we got all like the crazy stuff, right? Yep. It's Can't be that hard, right? It's gonna be blast. <laughs> okay, guys, it is step 17 out of 23. It is 4 a.m. We got this much built. I'm pretty drunk, and yeah, it's we're at, we're having a lot of fun, so. Okay guys, 4.30 in the morning, and Blade has completely just taken over. He's got the ramps board out, and here, show him what you're doing. Uh, well, it's hard to explain. I well, anyways, he's putting it, these little things on here. Yeah, I'm just connecting it over these. We uh, almost started to the point where he's going to put the Arduino board in there. We got the whole frame, the hotbed, everything assembled. How long have we been working on this? Six hours? Probably. <laughs> yeah, so... It hasn't, it's not hard, but it's very time consuming, so. But it's kind of fun, so. We're having a good time. I've had a couple drinks. Got the bond with my brother. We've got a couple arguments. It's been good all the time. Alright, it's like seven hours in, and it's to the point where Keegan is downloading the Marlin firmware so he can get it set up. And then we just got to set up the LCD, and we'll pretty much be ready to print. This is the back of the printer. Here's the front of it. Still haven't put the LCD in. But yeah, downloading the firmware. We got the board all up right here. It's coming along. Okay, guys, it is now 6 a.m. It is sunny outside, and we're still not done. But we're getting there. Almost done. So, so far, eight hours into this thing, and we just were plugging in all the electrical components. Got to hook up the LCD screen. And then the actual build is done. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Alright guys, 7 a.m. We finally got it set up. I didn't make the spool holder yet, but they got to they gotta go to church. So they're, they're leaving. Yep. <laughs> but, yeah, hold on, let me show you. We got it set up. Uh, it's ready to go. I just got to build my spool holder. The LCD's working. So, yeah, unboxing and... Uh, Setup done. Stay tuned. We'll do a review soon. I'll show you some prints, but overall, the build was a success.